all in our hands. Has been paid for by the WZWA Network. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the WZWA Network and welcome to our beloved, beloved show here on our channel, WZWA Reacts, where we react to some of the greatest, most interesting, most different kinds of wrestling that's happened in the history of pro wrestling. And I'm your host, California, alongside Juicy Boy. How are you, brother? Yeah, I'm fantastic. And we are taking another one of our patented trips down memory lane. We are going back to the golden age. We are going back to 1959. Right. Okay? And we are going to be watching a rare, difficult to find, recorded match featuring Happy Humphrey. Now, yep. for those who don't know, Happy Humphrey is a somewhat infamous, larger professional wrestler from the 40s 50s golden age of professional wrestling a big lumbering attraction type talent that would go around from town to town uh you know performing in different roles whether it be a monster heel or whatnot whatever they might have needed but he was known for his enormous size um and I'm sure Carl might have a couple of other details about the match itself. But anyway, that's the aura that surrounds this guy. And it is not an easy thing to kind of find one of Happy Humphrey's matches. Yeah, that's right, bro. Because uh, I, 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 I went down this like little rabbit hole uh, mm. a while ago because... Uh, I had seen, obviously, a little bit of, you know, uh, Giant Haystacks, Haystacks Calhoun, uh, some of these big guys, but I also was, like, looking at uh, uh, a team known as the Maguire Twins, who are very, two very large yeah. men, and um, uh, just these big attraction-type guys from from many, many decades ago, and I, I, I was looking at Happy Humphrey, because I believe Jim Cornette was talking about him on his show, and... Uh, so I did a little bit of a search. I found one match from 1959, January 2nd, 1959. It's at the Buffalo Memorial Auditorium in Buffalo, New York uh, for NWF, uh, National Wrestling Federation, for a show called NWA Upstate. Uh, the 748-pound, uh, and in other countries, that's 340 kilograms, uh, Happy Humphrey takes on former NFL player who turned pro wrestler, the one and only Jack MacArthur. So mm -hmm. I'm very interested to see this. I'm not expecting a, a technical classic by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I am expecting to see something. And just like, here. you know, I just, I don't want to gloss over it here. I just want everyone to like appreciate how large 748 pounds is. You know, this, this guy essentially... Happy Humphrey is two Mark Henrys. That's it, bro. Worth That's it. Or, or, one body. or Big Show plus 250 pounds. <laughs> yeah. I was going to try that, but then I couldn't think of a wrestler that weighed approximately that, so I just wanted to go. Anyway, um, <laughs> and also this will continue our our study into the, the old style of professional wrestling. We're, we're not going to see a technical classic. Uh, because of the people involved here. However, we are going to see, you know, a vastly different style from what a lot of people watching this channel are probably used to watching, and we hope that you enjoy it, because yes. the it's modern stuff see that we see things. today, yes, and what we see today really has its roots in, you know, the kind of thing that we're about to watch here right now. Yep. Okay, bro, so we're heading back in the DeLorean to 1959. It's Happy Humphrey. It's Jack MacArthur. Juicy Boy, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Excuse the grainy footage. It was 1959, but at least we got it, and we're, we're going to react to it here in three, two, one, play. He has one of those sports car caps on. 81 inches around the waist. Wow. That's a, like, around the world in 80 days. Look at the guy. His yeah. 
That big bastard. And he's got his little hat on. That hat is incredible. <laughs> like, this guy is like the real life inspiration for Fat Bastard from Austin Powers. Ah, it a baby. No, seriously, I'm, you know, like, I feel a bit bad for a person's, like, health when they're that size, but all the same, you know, like. But this guy actually, um, uh, for a while, they had broken the world record for the uh, largest weight loss um after he retired wow that's yeah. that's amazing too <laughs> check MacArthur. yeah there's a real fucking serious son of a bitch as well <laughs> wow yeah so he was also known as farmer humphrey um so yeah, I was just reading right then, uh, he actually lost 570 pounds at one stage and weighed three pounds lighter than Jack MacArthur does going into this matchup. Fuck, bro. Incredible. Yeah. And, and, and just so that no one sleeps on it either, uh, Jack MacArthur here, this is not just a, a former uh, NFL football player turned professional wrestler. It's a former NFL football player from the 1950s turned professional wrestler in the 1950s. So, in other words, you know, these guys aren't fucking around. This was, this was when the business still had, you know, like ties to the mafia and just was a real kind of bit more of an under the table type of business so oh. happy farmer humphrey happy farmer humphrey i mean like, and think about it as well Carl. like macarthur's not a small guy like this is not a small opponent for for humphrey here but look how much he almost kind of like oh the speed oh, <laughs> oh it did nothing doesn't matter 2022 i still find a spot like that funny it's still it's still funny you couldn't you know, get why? the big man down. Because it's realistic. Because look mm. at the size of him. You know, it's like, it's fun, but it's not making fun of the of wrestling. See, now, as soon as he as soon as soon he's able to grab something, though, Happy Humphrey, if he falls down, how's he supposed to get back up again? You know? Oh, oh. the strength there of Happy Humphrey, or Happy Farmer Humphrey. Mm -hmm. So the kayfabe that's being told here as well, you know, Humphrey oh. essentially doesn't want to leave his feet because if he leaves his feet he's too fucking heavy to get himself off the mat <laughs> it's just nothing jack beautifully really done. really going for those punches as hard as he can that was so well done yeah great working punches i recently did a uh, part one of a documentary about the the famous 1920s gold dust trio and how they pioneered the the style of pro wrestling that we're watching right now <laughs> this uh this mixture of i think he tried to go for a uh, he's standing on his down. other hand <laughs> he's that way i guess that's great again brilliant psychology you know, it, probably not much Happy Humphrey can do, but what he can do is, a, you know, a bunch of little spots like that. They probably got a whole bunch planned out, and it entertains the people. See, look, another spot. Jack MacArthur can't do shit. <laughs> Jack MacArthur at 230 pounds. And MacArthur as well. Can't be understated. What a good job he's doing as well of kind of being this chicken shit. I don't think you want to do that, Jack. Oh, oh, here we go. Yep, test of strength. Probably some douchebag in an AEW shirt watching and going like, oh, when do they start wrestling now? Oh. <laughs> Get over it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Every sorry. time it's <laughs> AEW. Every time. Oh. And there are those forearms across that mighty... Oh! oh fuck me, man. He just fucking wrecked him. <laughs> absolutely fucking wrecked dude oh but a thumb to the eye there you saw he snuck in that thumb to the eye Notice yeah it's well. always only... it's always like the oh oh, oh <laughs> you don't want that though can the beer throw beautifully done and this there's only this one camera angle as well 
Oh, right in the corner. Oh, here we go. Ready? I Another whip. He'll, he'll, he's gonna. Oh, what's he doing? He's catching Bear him. Hug. That's it, man. That's gonna be all. Oh. <laughs> and that's it. No one's kicking out of that. The ref can no count one. to fucking 150. That's the way, Happy Humphrey. Good on him, bro. And he kisses his cap. That to be his good luck yeah. charm. I'm surprised <laughs> it isn't. I reckon you, you need a hat like that. Bro. Yeah. And you can see there. Like. I was entertained by it. I was. I think if you're a fan of wrestling, you, you know, should be able to at least appreciate kind of like the, you know, the ancestry of, of like the, the current stuff. And that's it. And happy it's Humphrey. The same, it's the same art form. You know, it's just evolved over it's time. It's different. It's different flavors, different things, different ways. You know, we just watched like a death match. And then now we're watching a happy Humphrey match and we appreciate it both of them. Yeah, we're the best kind of fan. We're not like super judgmental, unless you know. No, we we try not well, to be. But anyway, I mean, where, where I was going to go with that, but yeah. <laughs> there we go. Happy Humphrey getting the big win there. Yeah, um, like over Jack MacArthur for NWA Upstate. That was awesome, bro. I yeah. loved it. Yeah, incredible match. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Um, if you liked watching us kind of check out some of these more old school matches, and we hope that you do because we, we, we want to check some more out, let us know. If you have any suggestions for matches, let us know. In the if comments. you think that I should shove it up my own ass, let us know. In the comments. Follow us. Tweet us. Like this video. Go on our Discord. Go on our Discord. Tell Jesus boys an asshole. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, so this has been another edition of WZWA Reacts, hashtag DeLorean edition. I've been Juicy Boy, this has been California, and we will see you down that fucking road. Network, that's the way we play. Get puppies. Hey, network, that's the way we play. Get all announcement has been paid for by the WZWA Network.